If your fabric is wrinkly because you pre-washed it or it was just wrinkly from when you bought it, then you may want to steam it before you lay it out. But once it's ready to go, you're going to work with a partner and you're going to grab one corner of your fabric and your partner will grab the opposite diagonal corner of the fabric and just give it a gentle tug. And then do the same thing on the other side. You grab one corner, your partner grabs the opposite diagonal corner and you just give it a stretch. And what that does is help to straighten the grain. Then you're going to take your fabric and I've got the cut edge at the top and the bottom and the selvage, which is the finished edge on the side. I'm going to fold it with ways like this so your two edges meet, the two cut edges meet at the top and the two selvages meet at the side. Get out any wrinkles or folds, have it nice and flat. And this particular fabric has no nap or direction. It doesn't matter which way the stars go, but if you have fabric that has a particular direction, then we actually will have to cut the length of the fabric here and put the two of them together so that they're both going in the same direction. Otherwise, one leg will actually be upside down. Then take your pattern and put it close to the top and using weights, put them in the corners and the middles just so that you can hold this down securely so you can draw around it. So use as many as you need but make sure you share with your classmates. So once that's down, you're ready to draw. So I'm going to start and I draw the curve and I'm using a piece of tailoring chalk, a color that will show up on my fabric. There's uh, white, red, yellow and blue, so use whatever you like. And just trace right outside that pattern that you designed. Now when you get to the bottom, if your fabric is pre-washed, it's not going to shrink. But if you haven't pre-washed it, you might want to add a few extra centimeters to it. So mine is not pre-washed, so when I draw it, I'm just going to eyeball it an extra couple of centimeters so that when it shrinks up, which it will, um, if it's not been pre-washed, which is fine, uh, it will shrink a bit. Now, you have a little extra fabric and if you want it to, you could go even lower than that because the way these are designed, they're going to cut you, they're going to hit you right in the middle of your thigh, but if you want them, say, down to your knee, if you have room, you can add them longer. But once you've decided and you've drawn, you can take away the weights and now you're going to use scissors. Now I like the titanium scissors, you can use those or you can, you can use the silver scissors but I don't recommend the black scissors, they're not really great for cutting fabric. They're more for cutting threads. You're going to cut through both layers at the same time and cut just outside that line that you drew. So don't cut off the tailoring chalk, cut right beside it cut through both layers and if you're having trouble cutting make sure that you're actually holding the scissors straight and that the, your thumb is in the small hole your fingers are in the larger hole because if you're holding these on an angle it will be much more difficult to cut but if these scissors don't work for you try another pair I've even had some people prefer to use paper scissors for cutting fabric my motto is use what works so when you're done cutting, then it's going to be time to serge. But serging is a tricky thing, and you must have a lot of practice before you serge your boxers, because I sure don't want you to um, spend money on your fabric and then ruin it. So when you're done, you've actually got two. So you've got uh, one for one leg and one for the other.